Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back once more for Twitch Guard video. And in this video, I uh, will teach you a Twitch Guard multi jumps character. So we'll start right right away with Pete. Uh, Pete, I think he has three jumps. I think he has three. Anyways, uh, let's just use the mod pack and oh no, wait. Up. So Pete is a character that has few jumps and he has like a very bad recovery because that's a straight line. Yeah, three three jumps. See that? That's like a straight line, no hitbox. Like, if you just have an hitbox in the trajectory, they just lose to it. It goes pretty far, not gonna lie, and it has like a wide range of like different uh, angles you can, they can do. Apart from that, not the biggest move. Not the biggest move they will use to recover, because they will only use use that as last resort most of the time like pit players i know pit players i was a pit player at some point not in this game but yeah a b is not it's not how they recover pit players they will use the strength they have with their multiple jumps and that's the topic of the video how do you handle characters that have like multiple jumps well, it's pretty much the same as the other ones. Like, pretty much the same as the um, the character that only have a double jump. You just want to um, empty the resource. Slowly but surely. And just have them... Like, keep them up stage where, while they burn resources. And once you do that, you'll be fine. So... I don't know why the CPU goes only low, like that's, that's the least human thing you could do. Because, actually, yeah, let, let's take this example. Like, the CPU is always doing like super low recoveries, and he's burning all, all of his jump for that, right? So, once I hit him with a late, late aerial, which is near or fair, even down air, or it means they have no no more um, options, no more resources. So I can just like continue my combo and just go for it. Okay. The thing you have to be careful with Pete is that they have like pretty disjointed hitboxes, especially the especially the down air down air spikes as well. If you are like straight up, uh, under it. And that's not the that, that's not the thing you want, but apart from that, they cannot really back at you while squatting. They cannot really fare because it, it takes like forever. And even if they have like multiple jumps, they will they will probably just like uh, try to go to to ledge without the the B, right? They can be they can try. On horizontal recovery to do side B, and side B is pretty fine. If, if, if they are, it's not really snapping the ledge as well. So if you just shield, it will tr trigger the um, uppercut animation. You, you can just punish with back air as well. After that, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Don't try too much. It can be a bit difficult, but usually during edge guard you'll at least rock a percent. So. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, let's do Kirby. I think I never talked about Kirby. Kirby, Kirby has multi jumps as well. I think this one has. Well, what I've said about Pete applies to Dark Pete. Like they are very similar, right? So Kirby is like Jigglypuff. Looks like Jigglypuff, but. Their double jump, his double jump, is Kirby a E or a she? I don't know. Let's say he. 
He has a very bad double jump, and whenever um, I'm actually playing Kirby, trying out, etc., I'm just like, oh my gosh, this character is, is really rogue. Because they have the same amount of jumps of, uh, as Jigglypuff, but they, they fall so, so much faster. Which is not a, not a bad thing, but it's actually a bad thing considering the what kind of character it is, I would say. And it's like it's pretty useful for our edge corps because it means that the drift he has is not really good. Like he can only up so much with a with a jump compared to Jigglypuff, which means you will win the air battle most of the time, right? If you, if you choose the, the right the right option you will win the air battle. So, what do you do against Kirby? Well, you just catch them as soon as you can, to be honest. And you actually use the fact that your jumps go go faster and uh, further than theirs. And you just push them until they have to a B. And a B you just beat it with Nair. And that's a very simple flowchart, pretty much. But that's how you do it against Kirby, so no, 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 not a lot, not a lot to say. But this character is is surprisingly bad of stage. I feel like, at least, that's my experience with Kirby's. And I think they are easy to hit guard. And in general, they, the the fact that they have like a multi jump. Oh yeah, be careful about that. The fact that they have multi jump makes that. In general, they don't get edge guarded as much, and maybe they don't they are not used to it. I don't know. But yeah. I think uh, their recovery is pretty bad. What move they, can they do when they are off stage? Well they cannot really commit because all all of their moves is actually uh, pretty long lasting. I would say further maybe would be a good idea. But he, he just has a hitbox in front of it, so in front of Kirby, so as long as you are Thinking the the right positioning, which is like above and between the stage and your opponent, you'll be fine. Oh. I'm actually not really good on the timing for that, but anyways. And just yeah, you just kill them. Kill them slowly, surely. They should be fine against Kirby. Uh, I'm sure you you'll be fine. And let's talk about let's talk about Meta Knight. Meta Knight is a bit similar. It's a bit uh, it's a bit of a mixed uh, mix between Kirby and Pete. Actually, that's why I see it at least. And uh, but he has like way better tools. First, Meta Knight has a sword, which makes the thing the whole thing a bit more complicated, right? And he has like three special moves to actually recover. Four special moves, actually all four specials, like the neutral B, the side B, the down B, and the up B, can be used to can be used to um, to recover on stage. Well, most most of the time, I'll tell you what they will do. If they are high like that, they can use the the, the tornado neutral B, but that's like the the least common used. In general, they will side B because side B is super janky in this game, and it can just send you off stage if you try to contest it. Like, look at that. And the thing is, if they try to side B, well, don't don't contest it front. Contest it by uh, um, by going upwards, and you should be fine. Let's. Making mash I'd be in neutral. See, you can only Yeah. Yeah, eventually you can try to do it with back air. I'm trying to Nah, this death orbit, uh, 
back here. This default beats the back here. So yeah, don't actually don't don't really uh, contest that. It's a bad idea. And they have another move. Oh, shadow loop, a B of course. Shadow loop is easy to uh, actually trade with, so it's fine. You just play, yeah. See, nothing great to actually. Uh, but yeah, you can just like near near shadow loop. In general, as a Jigglypuff, you should be very consistent at like. Or, or just like good at eating like that kind of like area of snare. See? See how much I, I got jank like? And being able to eat like good nares here uh, will actually take you very far as to give up. So yeah, and they will be able to actually um, do the down B as well. Their down B is a teleportation kind of. And they can either attack out of it and this is very laggy on shield but they will do it usually not to go on ledge but rather to go on stage directly and they will not use the attack one but just in case shield and react you should be fine and yeah the thing is meta knight he has like a sword he has a forward air he has an up air he has a, a down air and it kind of makes makes him pretty different than the other multi-jump character to actually edge quad. You just actually want to keep the position, like this position, which is usually good, but you, you want to be a bit further because you, you still are in risk of like getting hit by, by his, his, his stuff, right? So yeah, that's how you do it. Usually a Meta Knight edge quad is usually 4%. You will not, not get the kill too much against Meta Knight, but... Well... I don't know if you remember, but... Meta Knight is a plus 4 character for RDR, which is like a Rising Drill Rest. So just kill them with RDR. Should be easier. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed recovered multi jumps character this time. This is usually a member only um, video series. This time it's for everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Put a like, put a comment, tell me what character you would like to see next. I've done a bunch already. Uh, you can check the old Twitch quad playlist. There are a few public videos. And yeah, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.